Good morning, ESM. I'm Erica. And I'm Sophie. Today is February 12th. In today's show, hopefully we'll pull some support for one of our school's extracurriculars. Which is DECA. More on that after news. An annual threat assessment by the Estonian Foreign Intelligence Service says Russia is likely to interfere in Western elections again this year. The Baltic Nations Intelligence Agency also warns that Russia will continue to pursue cyber operations that will threaten other nations. Russia will not try to interfere in the U.S. presidential election in November and in parliamentary elections in the nation of Georgia in October, but it warns that the main goal is to ensure favorable election results for Russia by favoring Russian-friendly candidates or those who have the most isolating influence in the West. Another motivation for tampering, according to the report, is to show that Western nations can't hold fair elections, making questionable elections in Russia seem less significant. Tuesday night, Syracuse police were looking for a suspect who committed a crime. Police found him in a parking lot around 8.30 p.m. in which they tried to stop him when he then crashed his vehicle. When they found the suspect, police said that he appeared to have a self-inflicted gunshot wound and is in serious condition at Upstate Hospital. William White, a 104-year-old veteran from Stockton, California, received over 70,000 Valentine's cards and letters from people all around the world. The cards addressed to Major Bill were made after his fellow residents launched a social media campaign called Operation Valentine which had a goal of just 100 valentines for the retired major. White's great-granddaughter also collected valentines from her fourth grade class, with many of them being decorated with the American flag. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is the last day to order flowers for your valentine. Delivery will be tomorrow. Extras will be sold in the lobby for $1 each Friday morning. Thank you. This Tuesday, we have an information session after school and G20 for the Spartan Basketball Universe. D DECA is a decently sized group, but a lot of people in our school may not know exactly what it is. DECA is a business organization nationwide that focuses on successful aspects of methods of business and marketing. There are multiple categories that solo or pair co competitors can choose from and multiple com competitions as well. Starting with the regional competition, which is usually hosted at Lemoyne College, with the top four soloists and the top two pairs from each category, moving on to states and then to nationals if you're really good. Or if you're on a team, which is the other option to compete. Each year, a couple of teams form a project that they're passionate about that makes a difference. These projects can be seen every year with the Hoops for Hope project last year. One of this year's projects actually has a fundraiser taking place this Friday. And it looks like the weather will definitely be cold. Maybe put you in the mood for a hockey game? Let's take a look. Intervals of sun by noon with snow later tonight and a high in the mid-30s through the day. Tomorrow will begin with snow tapering to scattered snow showers in the mid-morning and highs in the low to mid-30s and falling into the 20s later in the day. Friday will be brisk and cold with a high in the mid-teens and a low below zero. Saturday will have a mix of sun and clouds and slightly warm highs in the upper 20s. Sunday should have a chance of rain or snow and a high in the upper 30s. Monday will be slightly warmer with more rain than snow and a high of about 37. And then Tuesday should have a mix of rain or snow and a high near 42. And now with your weather. So as we hinted earlier, this fundraiser coming up is hockey related. Maddie Sage is the team leader of her group of Marissa Drogo and Sofia Canzone for her project which is to raise funds as well as awareness for the Special Olympics. Now, unfortunately, she can't be here to join us for our show today, but she did tell me in order to do this as a Syracuse Crunch fundraiser this Friday at 7 o'clock, and tickets will be $20. And along with this, T-shirts will also be sold in the next few weeks with the saying, United We Stand. All of the money earned through the fundraiser goes to the Special Olympics. 
When asked why she chose to pick the project, Maddie told us that as the unified teams have been getting a lot of love and support, she wanted to raise more awareness in the general CNY area as well as other surrounding schools. So if you're into hockey or you want something to do with your Friday night, go find Maddie or any of the other group members mentioned for more info or to buy tickets. And speaking of ho hockey and sports, let's see what's happening the past day or so. The girls basketball team took a tough loss last night to Cortland, 25-40. The boys basketball, the boys basketball defeated Cortland last night, 68-33. Devin McCasco Buffalo led the team with 18 points. SU lost to North Carolina State last night, 79-74, to fall to 14-10 on the season. Joe Garrett led the team with 30 points, and Quincy Garrier also had 16 points and 10 rebounds. I'm as well as sports. So we hope that the show brought some awareness to this amazing project that's taking place. As well as possibly spark some interest in joining DACA. Now I only did DACA for my last two years of high school, but I loved it. And it was so out of the box from what I usually do, but I enjoyed every second of it, especially going to states last year. We wish the best of luck to the competitors going to states in March. And if you have any questions about DACA, don't forget to ask Mr. Anzalone how you can join. But from me, Erica, and everyone else at The Morning Show, have a great day.